I put them on safe, let them hang. Right. Hey folks, we have Chassis up here in New Hampshire. Many of you may have seen the recent YouTube video that I just posted from a two-day tactical class that I was at, um, hosted by Criterion Tactical, Kelly Venden, um, at the Six Hour Academy in Epping, New Hampshire. That video really had a brief interview with Kelly, which was great for me to have a chance to actually sit down and talk to him a little bit. Um, and then a lot of video of the actual shooting that we did. This video really is more of an after action report on my experiences um, with that, as well as some more video. Hey, you gotta have video of guys shooting, right? If you like this video and any other video that we produce, I'd ask that you click the thumbs up icon in the bottom left of your screen and send us your comments and feedback. We certainly appreciate that. I attended the two-day class with uh, Kelly Venden and Criterion Tactical because I really have heard some good things. I'd read some stuff on his website. And really what I wanted to do was go work with someone who had truly done the job. So uh, Kelly, you know, 21 years Special Forces operator, the guys with the green beanies, uh, part of the unit, um, another six years starting the Air Marshal Service and establishing the training protocols for that entire program. After 9-11, he headed over to the Sandbox, spent a year working for um, the um, Southern Operations Command, SOC, uh, out of Florida as a contractor, really training troops in tactics um, to, to help them and impart his knowledge. And since that time, he's now formed his own company, he continues to work for uh, the government um, by providing training for troops. So what's going to follow here is just a really brief summary of some of the key things that I learned from attending the class. Kelly really focused on three things um, that resonated with me as the platform, sort of the three legs of the stool of the platform to make us uh, confident shooters. And really what that was, was fundamentals, efficiency, um, and then proficiency. So really worked with us on our ability to do things efficiently, right? Getting the gun out quickly, getting it onto point, pressing your shot. And then the fundamentals associated with that, which is trigger press, trigger reset, and follow through. Um, that's particularly important because if you don't have efficiency of motion, if you don't have proficiency in terms of what you're doing, you can't be efficient in terms of delivering hits on target. So um, those were sort of the keys that he based the, the rest of the training on. What was great about it for me is, unlike some trainers who talk and talk and talk, um, Kelly did his fair amount of talking, but with a specific goal in mind. He was also willing to demonstrate every single thing he asked us to do. From my standpoint, if a trainer's not really to sh willing to show you what it is and set up the timer and set up a par time, the same thing they're going to ask you to do, and all they do is tell you how great they are, well, let me tell you, Kelly is great. So that, to me, was, was um, really important. He was assisted by uh, Greg, um, who also did a fabulous job, was part of Criterion uh, Tactical. Both these guys can shoot. More importantly, both of these guys know how to instruct big deal for me because I want to shoot a gun, but I want to know how to do it right and I want to do it with uh, qualified instructors. We did pretty much everything you want to do over the course of a two-day tactical. Certainly a lot of fundamentals, a lot of presentation um, from, you know, from holster and using a handgun. Use of the high ready position, um, which, you know, I've slowly, we've got an unloaded gun here, which I've slowly become uh, much more in favor of, certainly something that I teach my students, uh, pros and cons with this, so I'm not advocating one way or another. But, but if you think about it, your high ready position is up here. All I have to do is press out, align my sights, and press a shot. That means, unlike a low ready position, which I'm down here, I'm, I've got to bring the gun up, find the front sights, align the sights to the rear sight, and then press my shot. So, you know, that, that to me was reiterated. Now, Todd Green preaches the same thing. Again, I have great respect for Todd. So, two guys that I respect and was impressed with their training really were doing uh, things very, very consistently. So, obviously, there's a reason for this. So, that was one big aha for me. The second one is the fact that the high ready position is reinforced because 
If we're going to fight someone, we're going to fight from up here, right? I'm going to block punches. I'm going to deliver punches. This is where we fight from. And Kelly kept referring from that. He said, you know, this is where you're fighting from. The reality is, in a flight fear situation, when you're trying to save your life or the life of someone else around you, you're going to revert back to what millions of years of evolution uh, has drilled into your, your thing, which is get your hands up here. It's also known as a spear technique. So, again, I'm not saying that other techniques aren't right. I'm just sharing you with what I've learned and seemed to really work for me. Getting that high ready position, punching the gun out, and pressing the shot as soon as your sights are aligned and you have a good sight picture um, allowed me uh, much greater efficiency and therefore proficiency. The second thing is um, that, that, you know, kind of uh, resonated or really drilled in with me was just the fact less movement is more. We all talk about smooth is fast, but presenting a gun from holster, if you're not moving a lot of other stuff, you're simply getting the gun out. After you fire, you come down, you're assessed. The thought is you've shot the threat to the ground, right? You're coming back in, you're reversing the motion, again, high ready position, and then to holster. Well, why would you do this? You're doing that because it's the exact opposite of the presentation. You're just burning muscle memory, right? So, very, very helpful uh, uh, to me. From a uh, uh, muscle discipline standpoint, we did some stuff that most, most trainers wouldn't do because they don't know how to set up the scenarios, nor do they know how to watch people. Did some shooting stuff early on where they clearly were vetting the students, making sure that we, we were safe, that we were getting hits on target, um, and that we weren't doing stupid or silly things. Uh, next thing was, um, as it related to shooting a carbine in unconventional positions, uh, to me that was really helpful. We had cars, we were able to shoot in the cars, right, out the windows, around the doors, uh, behind the engine block, underneath the cars, so pretty much everything that you'd, you'd uh, need to do or want to do. So um, that was extremely helpful, just not, you know, most places you don't get to get out to your range and then shoot around a car, unless it's your car and you're willing to do that. So that to me was extremely uh, helpful. We also talked about the benefits of using, if you are using an optic without magnification, your ability to use the optic uh, if you don't have a rear sight and your front, you have a front sight post, um, like you know many ARs do, and then your backup iron sight for the rear sight, that you can use your optic really as a rear sight, um, especially for you know close in work. Obviously, as you're getting out to 100 or 200 yards or something, it's it's more of a challenge, but it can be done. That was a big uh, useful uh, benefit uh, to me to to really use that and see that. So because of that, I am now running my front sight up on all my ARs. Something different. So I uh, could also talk to you about some sling um, differentiations that we saw and different setups, um, that type of thing, but I'm not going to spend a lot of time because what I want to do is I want to show you more video, uh, some of which was posted in the other video, but more of it just because it was so much fun shooting. The last part of the thing that we did in the, in the day was actually um, test rounds firing through windscreens, windshields on a car, putting a target in there and seeing what the deflection was testing different types of ammunition. Uh, I was frankly surprised by some of the reactions that we got. Actually recovered uh, 147 grain HST, uh, federal load, um, bonded hollow point. Went where basically it was supposed to go, did not expand at all. So that glass, that stuff, often will affect hollow point bullets. And uh, therefore you really need to think about, hey, just because I shoot someone twice, is my magic bullet going to expand? The reality is you have no idea, so you need to shoot the threat down if you're in a fear, you know, for your life or the life of your loved ones, right? That's the only time I'm going to guns is when I have no other choice. So we shot um, standard NATO uh, fair. We shot some varmint rounds, some uh, 50 grain with a, a, a penetrator tip that you know basically is, is some sort of plastic that, that comes apart. That round had amazing penetration uh, through the windshield and through the car itself. After we shot in the cars, we also shot from the inside of a car, so shooting through a door, right? I shot my um, bodyguard, 38 Special, through the side door at a target. 
Um, interesting to see what, what happened there. Rounds went right through, obviously it would, but it does help you know you're in a carjack situation, someone's on the outside of your car, you have to defend your life, someone's got a gun pointing at your head, you can shoot right through the door and have effective combat hits on them. Additionally, we had folks shooting <laughs> long guns inside the cars through the windows, and then Greg, uh, one of our instructors, actually shot through both windows to the target with, uh, with the AR, and there's some video of that that I'll, I'll show you on this video. So the bottom line is, for me, um, Kelly is definitely um, one of the best of the best. And, you know, in my mind, he's a, in the top three folks that I've trained with, um, way up there with Jeff Gonzalez and, and, and Todd Green. Each one of them has different things that they bring to it. One of my favorite things about Kelly was his extremely positive attitude. The guy's got a great attitude. He's a gentleman. No ego attached, no, I'm better than you because I've been special forces, totally down to earth, totally humble, a man of great integrity. And for me, when I go and spend several hundred dollars taking a class, I don't need attitude from the instructor who thinks he's great just because he's an instructor. And, uh, you know, Kelly was, was just the true gentleman. He's the kind of guy who, you know, you'd meet and you'd say, man, this is the kind of guy I'd like to have as, as a good personal friend. So from my standpoint, um, you couldn't do better than that. All set. Ready? Yep. Going hot. Woo! The other thing that Kelly did, and this is in my mind what great instructors do, is they work with you when they see something that's kind of funny. So like a good coach, they'll pull you off to, you know, and just say, hey, Seth, are you aware you're doing this? Or why are you doing this specific, mo you know, movement? Well, you know, my hands this way. Oh, okay, well, you know, have you thought about this? That kind of feedback allows a shooter in a short period of time to improve their skills, their proficiency, their efficiency, and therefore, ultimately, their confidence in their weapons handling skills. So I'm giving a five-star endorsement to Criterion Tactical. You can check them out at CriterionTactical.com. So check them out. They'll travel anywhere in the United States. Um, they do do work um, all over the place. So if you get a chance, uh, I would highly recommend this group. Um, and I, I, just, I just really was, uh, was just blown away. I've got so much stuff to work on. I don't know if I can produce videos for the next year because i got to go practice. So anyway... That's it. CriterionTactical.com. Kelly Venden, top shooter, top trainer, great instructor, and, and a real gentleman. Hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for some of the fun stuff, which is not me talking. It's a bunch of guys shooting and having a great time and learning. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, stay safe.